أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد يقول الله تعالى في القران العظيم اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن أحسنتم أحسنتم لأنفسكم وإن أسأتم فلها صدق الله العظيم All praises are for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We glorify him and we thank him for his blessings and favors upon us I testify that there is none to be worshipped but Allah he is alone and he has no partner. And I testify that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his servant and final messenger. Ibadullah, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us in Al-Quran that when we do good, we do good for our own selves. In ahsantum, Ahsantum li anfusikum. And when we do evil, we do it against our own selves. Islam teaches us that everything we do, we should strive to make sure that we excel in it. And so a Muslim looks for excellence in his relationship, in his actions, in his sayings. A Muslim looks to always excel in whatever task he undertakes. A Muslim looks to excel in terms of his behavior. We are living in times, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, where we often see people demonstrate behavior that is not in accordance with the teachings of Islam. We, we live in a time where constantly you see people, they have this animosity in hatred, in enmity for others. It, it is totally against the teachings of Islam. Islam teaches love and compassion and kindness. Islam teaches concern for people. Islam teaches that we show that we care about the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We, we live in a time where people often think only about themselves. And sometimes they forget that others exist. And that what we like for ourselves, that we should also like for them 
Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, La yu'minu ahadukum hatta yuhibba li akhihi ma yuhibbu li nafsi. None of you is a true believer until and unless he loves for his brother that which he loves for himself. And, and so this guiding principle that we ought to establish our lives by, we often see that it is not prevalent or present among people. But it doesn't matter what happens to him or her, it's all about me and how progressive I am, how successful I am, and what my accomplishments in life are. Our focus, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, as we look for excellence in everything that we do, we need to focus on people. We need to focus on the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us that it is incumbent upon us to always connect with others. Alaykum bil jama'a. It is incumbent upon you to connect with other people, to be with others, to make sure that you can make a difference in the lives of others or you can help them to contribute towards making community better. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he told us with regards to excellence in our environment and making sure that wherever we dwell, that there is always that enjoyment of right and the forbidding of evil. Wherever we exist, that we make sure that that place is a good place. It's a place in which there is love and happiness. There is peace. He says, Kullu mauludin yulad ala fitra. Every one of us, every child is born with the understanding that there is only one true God. Every child is born with the inclination towards goodness. Sometimes the environment changes that concept. Sometimes the environment keep, uh, help people to disconnect with the Creator. Sometimes the environment helps people to stay away from the enjoining of right. You, you see people around you, they're all involved in gambling and drinking of alcohol. You see people around you who are uh, uh, haters and backbiters and people who do not care about others. In such an environment, you tend to want to do the same like them. You see people in an environment who has no relationship with God, people who are totally disconnected from their Creator, it becomes very difficult for you to stay connected. And so Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is saying that, yes, every one of us, we are born with that understanding that there is only one true God. Every one of us, we are born with that inclination towards goodness. We, we, we help one another to excel by making sure that that stays 
intact. That that fitra, that natural way in which we came into this world, that it stays, that, that it remains the focus. And if we were to look at the, the other part of that hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he says that people, they, they, their, their concept of God or their inclination towards goodness, it, it changes because of sometimes their parents and the, the way of life that they have adopted. So if, if parents are worshipping idols, if parents are joining partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if parents are, uh, do not have that inclination towards goodness, it changes the environment for that child. And so my dear brothers and my dear sisters, indeed, the, the focus is community, people. How do we make a difference in the lives of others? How do we change the environment in which we live in? How do we make sure that that environment remains an environment in which people are connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? That people are, are inclined towards always wanting to do good. We, 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 we need to help one another to accomplish that. We need to help one another to, to make sure that that is possible. And that is why Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he tells us about continuous, co continuous rewards. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, Man sanna sunnatan hasana falahu ajruha wa ajru man amila biha ila yawm al qiyamah. He, 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 he gives us, he, he motivates us and, and tells us that it, it is important it is, it is incumbent upon you to always look at inventing ways, means of doing good and let people follow you in doing it. When you do that, you, you help to change the environment. You help to make sure to maintain your identity. You help to make sure that people are in focus that they are connected, they are doing good. And so the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he tells us about a tremendous reward, that when you invent or you, you adopt something that is good and other people follow you in doing it, you have rewards until the day of judgment. Continuous reward, even after you have departed from this world. And again, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he tells us, Man dalla ala khair, falahu ajru mithlu fa'ilihi. The one who guides people. It, it, it's all about people. How do you make a difference in their lives? The one who guides people towards goodness, towards doing that which is right, towards helping people, towards making a difference, the one who guides people, even if you are not able to do it, but you show them the way to do good, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, you will have rewards similar to the one who has done the good. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he, he, he also tells us about the importance of people. And he says, that al iyal khalqullah people are we are the creation of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the be, the most love of allah's creation are those who are beneficial to the creation of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala look at what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is telling us. He's saying that we are all the people of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. You want to be the most beloved to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, 
then make a difference in the lives of the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do something for people. Do something for others. Do something for your children, your, your parents, your family. Make a difference in their lives. Do something for members of your community. Do something for your neighbor. Allah, he tells us in the Quran, Kuntum khayra, uh, he says, In kuntum tuhibboon Allah, fattabi'uni. Yuhbibkum Allah, wa yaghfir lakum dhunubakum. Say, if you love Allah, follow me. Follow who? Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah will love you and Allah will forgive you your sins. Look at the life of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In terms of character, he excelled. وَإِنَّكَ لَعَلَىٰ خُلُقٍ عَظِيمٍ Allah testifies to that in the Qur'an. He says, and you are of the most exalted character. Always look, he looked for excellence. You want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to, to love you? Then follow Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Live your lives just as how he lived his life. لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنَةٌ Verily, in the Messenger of Allah is a perfect example for you. When you look at being kind, you want to look at it at the highest degree. You want to excel in your kindness. When you demonstrate love, you want to make sure that uh, you are excelling in the love that you demonstrate. It's not about only today or only last year. It's about every day. You know, sometimes we become so engrossed in our worship that we forget to smile. We forget to show people that indeed we are human beings and we are like Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That man who was of the highest degree of compassion وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ And we have not sent you except as a, a compassionate one to the whole of mankind, a merciful one to the whole of mankind. Sometimes it, this very basic thing of how much blessings it can bring us. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, do not look at Anything that you do good as being insignificant, even the smile on your face, when you look at your brother, you look at your sister, it, 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 it is something that earns you reward, it brings blessings to you, it is sadaqah. How, how many husbands do not smile with their wives and how many wives do not smile with their husbands and how many of how so often we have disconnect between children and parents and you don't see that smile you don't see that love on the face Th this is what i mean by excelling my dear brothers and my dear sisters that in every aspect of our lives that we make sure that we are striving for excellence. In Allah katab al ihsan ala kulli shay. Allah has written excellence, perfection for everything. 
We, we cannot be content with the way we do things and say, this is the way I know how to do it, and this is the way it will be done. There is always a better way. There is always an opportunity for us to excel, to make things better. And that is why Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, Man istawa fahuwa maghboon. The one whose two days are equal in accomplishment, he is a sure loser. When we strive for excellence, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, in everything that we do, we make sure that our, our lives do not remain stagnant. We make sure that our families, they, they, there is that progressiveness in our families. We make sure that in our communities, there is not that stagnant, that dormancy, that everything stays the way it is. But we always look for betterment. We always look to excel. This is what Islam teaches us. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam taught his companions to, to, to look for opportunities that will make them better individuals. And so every, every opportunity that they had to speak to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they would ask him and request from him, how can we make our lives better? What will help us to get to Jannah? How would we get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And it was always they were asking about their prayers and, and about their fasting and about their behavior and about how they, they connect with one another. These were the, the Sahaba, the companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And so when he was no longer there with them, they did not just, you know, remain dormant, stagnant. He, he had set the stage for them to become a powerful nation. And, and we saw Islam moving, taking hold we, we saw people from different regions in the Arabian Peninsula accepting Islam. We saw Islam t moving from one corner of the globe to another corner. We, we, we saw people, the, 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 the Roman Empire and the Persian Empire crumbling. And Muslims were the true leaders. We saw them taking that taking the dignity and the honor and prestige that belongs to Muslims, to the believers, because they were taught not to remain dormant, not to be stagnant. They were taught to always look for excellence. When you pray, you want to make sure that you excel in your prayers. When you fast, you want to make sure that you excel in your fasting. People go to perform the Hajj, they want to make sure that they excel, that they are closely connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What matters, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, it's all about our akhlaq, our behavior. We want to excel in that. And when the Muslims excelled in their behavior, they were able to have millions gravitate towards them. It wasn't through the sword. It wasn't through wars. Countries such as Malaysia and Indonesia and other parts of the world, people accept Islam in droves just because of the behavior, the akhlaq the morals, the characteristics of Muslims. And so we need to excel in the way we behave. If we behave well, 
Insha'Allah, people will see the beauty of Islam. They will understand what really Muslims stand for. And so, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, my, my reminder today is that we always strive for excellence in every aspect of our lives, more so in our behavior, in our akhlaq. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he tells us in the Quran, inna akramakum indallahi atqaqum, verily the best of you in the sight of Allah are the ones who are most God-fearing, the ones who enjoy right and forbid evil, the ones who have the best behavior. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to excel in everything that we do. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to always think about others and to do things for others to make a difference in the lives of other people. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us good in this life and good in the life hereafter. And may he save us from the torment of hellfire. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa li sa'iru al-mu'minu minat min kulli dhamb fa astaghfiruun innahu huwa al-ghafur rahim Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salam wa la sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahabihi ajma'in, ridwanullahi alayhi mila yawmiddin, amma ba'd. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he told his companions, that life is not only about learning. You learn, but you also make sure that others learn from you. And so he said to them, here again you're looking at making a difference in the lives of others. Balligu anni walau aya. Spread what you heard from me, even though it be one single ayah. So, life is not only about you acquiring, you learning, you making a difference in your own life. But life is about spreading love and friendship and caring about others, making sure that peace prevails in the environment in which you live. And that is why when the Prophet wasallam was asked, Ayyul Islam khair, which Islam is the best? He said, Tut'imu tu'am the best of Islam is that you help people. Again, make a difference. They need help, come to their aid. And the best of Islam is that you make sure that there is peace, that there is that comfort and tranquility, that happiness, spread that. And you begin by kalam. You begin by saying as-salam. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us about relationship. Connect. Connect with people. Don't Stay disconnected because if you are a disconnected individual, you will lose that happiness and comfort. You will lose that peace of mind. 
And he says, how do you stay connected? If we were to look at the beautiful hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, in the end of it, he says, Awala adullukum ala shay'in Iza fa'altumuhu tahababtum Afshu wa salam baynakum do I not tell you of something? If you do it, you will stay connected. You will have that love. You will have good relationship with people. Spread salam. Spread peace among people. And salam, we begin, that's why I say you begin with kalam. You say, assalamu alaikum. When you say salam, you open up the door for a relationship for connection don't, don't walk puffed up don't, don't look at people and just turn away from them say something to them and that's what Islam teaches us say salam peace be upon you and you open up that connection after salam there will come some kalam, there will some come, come some conversation. And if it doesn't happen at the first time, next time, or sometime, it will happen when you continue to make sure that you stay connected with others. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to keep our focus with community, with people. And we, we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to always strive for excellence in everything that we do. لَقَدْ أَمَرْنَ اللَّهُ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى فِي الْقُرْآنِ الْعَظِيمِ حَيْثُ قَالْ إِنَّ اللَّهُ مَلَائِكَتُهُ يُسَلُّونَ عَلَى النَّبِي يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا صَلُّوا عَلَيْهِ وَسَلِّمُوا تَسْلِيمًا اللهم صل وسلم على عبدك ورسولك محمد وأرضى الله من خلفائه الأرباء أبي بكر وعمر وعثمان وعليم ونستة الباقين المباشرين بالجنة ونسائر الصحابة ونتابعين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين اللهم عز إسلام والمسلمين اللهم نور قلوبنا بنور الإيمان وثبت قلوبنا على دين الإسلام ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غلا للذين آمنوا ربنا إنك رؤوف رحيم اللهم لا تدع لنا في مقامنا هذا ذنبا إلا غفرته ولا هما إلا فرجته ولا هاجة من حوائج الدنيا والآخرة إلا قديتها ولا مريضا إلا شفيته ولا ميتا إلا رحمته اللهم تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم عباد الله إن الله يمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربة وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والباكي ذكم لكم تذكرون فاذكروا الله على نعمه واشكروه على آلائه ولذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تسنون أقم الصلاة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر